everyone, Ms. Moody here. Got a great read today, Little Sock. But before we do, I wanted to share you some of my uh, favorite socks that I have. This one, I hope you recognize it. The pigeon, love this sock. And then these socks, I have been waiting for a special occasion. I don't know what that special occasion will be, but they're llamas, can you see that? And then this, this, this sock I have to explain, it's kind of library humor. Um, this was a gift from my daughter, which I absolutely love. And in it is the borrower's card. So our older students write their name when they check a library book out. Well, this sock is a borrower's card, but it's in a sock. Because sometimes they don't think librarians have humor, but they have humor. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the book. Little Sock. Little Sock by Kira Heisey and Christopher D. Park. Read by Miss Moody. Hi. Little Sock lives in a drawer. Little Sock gets worn. Little Socks gets dirty. And Little Sock gets washed. For Little Sock, every day is the same. All the other socks seem happy, but Little Sock dreams of something different. He has heard of a magical place called Sock City, where every day is a new adventure. The only way to get to Sock City is through a secret tunnel in the back of the dryer. Late one night, Little Sock sneaks out of the drawer and climbs into the tunnel. The tunnel is very dark and very scary, but Little Sock is brave. Finally, he sees a light at the end of the tunnel. There it is, Sock City. Everywhere Little Sock looks, he sees something new and exciting. There are big socks, tiny socks, new socks, old socks, sporty socks, striped socks, polka dot socks, and even smelly socks. So many different socks doing different things. Every day is a new adventure. Little Sock had the best time in Sock City. He can't wait to go back again. Maybe he'll bring a friend. The end.